Hello, and welcome to my externship at Utrecht University in the Netherlands. Up first is the ICU where I worked alongside doctors to make diagnostic and treatment plans for the inpatients. It was such a fun challenge to critically think through differentials the Utrecht way, and I found myself still applying them today. In the evenings, we had the chance to explore the vibrant city of Utrecht. Here, we enjoyed the beautiful canals while having some dinner. Up next, we have the reproduction service. As spays and neuters are not as common in Europe, I was able to see a whole new side to patient care in regards to reproductive health. This sweet lab was being bred for the Royal Dutch Guide Dog Foundation. Next, Bryce and I rotated through the endocrinology department. While the language barrier was challenging at times in the outpatient services, I gained a deep appreciation for the amazing role veterinarians truly have in their community. And perhaps one of my favorite parts of this rotation was the endless amounts of free coffee available. After a bittersweet goodbye, we were off to explore new places. Just a short train ride away, we visited Amsterdam and got to try some authentic Dutch food. Up next, we also visited Italy. This was a fun window you simply knock on and can buy wine right in the street. Immersing ourselves further in the wine culture, we took a beautiful tour of the Florence countryside and learned the Italian way of drinking wine. Another train ride away, we visited the Montessoro beaches and walked through some local towns to do some shopping, of course, where much of their products were centered around Italian leather goods. A quick pit stop to Berlin, we did a walking tour and got to learn all about the history of the Berlin Wall and how it divided the city into the East and West during the Cold War. Last on our itinerary was Greece, where its waters were so clear you could see all the way to the ocean floor. My sister flew from Washington to come join us and just relax next to the beach most of the day, explored many different small towns, and our Airbnb host was kind enough to help us pick fresh fruit and find the best local restaurants for some authentic Greek food. Sadly, this trip had to come to an end. Thank you to Global Programs for your support and of course my travel companions Bryce and Daniel.